Sehome High School in Bellingham, Washington with art teacher extraordinaire Colleen King. Yay. The students all know and love her and parents as well. <laughs> so uh, anyhow, let's get right to it. Yeah. So what attracted you to teaching? Gosh, um, well, I'm an art teacher, so I think my love of art kind of came first in um, my desire to become a teacher. So ever since I was really super small and could pick up a pencil, like four years old, um, you couldn't stop me from making art. Neat. Yeah, so that just kind of like carried me on through middle school and high school and then college I was an art major um, and actually like ran into my high school art teacher one day at Western and she was like, Colleen, you should really consider maybe becoming a, an art teacher. And then I did. Wow. And I haven't looked back since. <laughs> wow, okay, so you yeah. went to Western? I did, yeah. I went and to, yep, did you grow up here? No, I'm actually from Shoreline, Washington. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Yeah. And then came up to go to school. Yes. And then just got stuck here. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, <laughs> I fell in love with the town. And it's funny that, you know, I went to Western. And now yeah. my room here, I can see it. Right, you know, right. From the window. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. So you sort of already said it, but mm -hmm. what inspires you to come to work every day? Well, let's see. What inspires me to come to work every day? Uh, I do feel like, yeah, that's a little bit of like a, a different path. Being an art teacher is very different than just making artwork. I think um, what makes me want to like wake up and come to work in the morning is like my connection with students. Um, so we have like an A, B schedule. So we see different kids every day. And I always wake up excited to see like, oh, I know this is my class where I'm going to have like my really goofy ninth grade boys and I've got my nice sweet cheer girls and it's just <laughs> going to be like a fun class. So yeah. I look forward to seeing the kids every nice. day. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Okay. So what is a unit that you look forward to teaching each semester? Yeah. Uh, I teach drawing and jewelry making and I would say I really look forward to a lot of the jewelry projects just uh -huh. because they're so different right. than what kids are used to doing like all day. Um, I like teaching them how to solder. They use a little torch. Oh, fun. Yeah, and you can imagine what that's like. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, 15 to 18. <laughs> Melting things. Old, uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> yes, getting metal very, like, dangerously hot. It's very yeah. exciting. No one's ever gotten hurt, so fingers yeah. crossed that it'll stay that oh, way Oh, that forever. sounds like so much fun. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun. I might have to come back to high school. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, okay, so here's a different one. Mm -hmm. If you were to kind of think of a book, a favorite book yeah. that you would mm -hmm. hope that all teenagers mm -hmm. might mm -hmm. pick up and read. Yeah, I think a book that impacted me that I read in high school was um, a book called, it was called The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian. Um, have you heard oh, of that book? I have not even ever heard of it. Oh, it's by Sherman Alexi. Okay. He's also like a movie director, but he's from Washington, I think from Spokane, mm -hmm. uh, and he's native. He like grew up on the tribe, and it's just a good book about kind of like tolerance and accepting people who have like, um, I don't know, just diff differences. Um, yeah. It's a really good book. I really recommend it, and it's like kind of a graphic novel. It has oh, neat. illustrations in it, so it speaks to the art. art yeah, society. yeah, and mm -hmm. pictures help the book go. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, it's a neat. great one. Good, I like that answer. Yeah. Um, all right, what would your students be surprised to find out about you? Right, I think my students would be surprised to know that I was an Irish dancer for 10 <gasps> years. What? Yeah, I don't nice. I don't tell them that very often because I do think like it's a little bit of a dorky uh, kind of <laughs> dance to know, but I was way into it. Nice. When I was like a middle schooler in high school. I even like went you out had to the, do competitions. Yeah, did that. you have the yeah, kit. I had the like crazy dress, mm -hmm. the curly and did hair. You, yeah, yeah. I didn't have a wig. Okay. Some people get really hardcore and they have a wig, but yeah. Oh my gosh, wait, yeah. Yeah. Yes, you know. <laughs> we know. Yeah, so that's what I did for many yeah. years. Hard shoes. It's actually you. pretty darn cool. Mm -hmm. And it's I not so. easy either. No, it's not. Yeah. So like on St. Patrick's Day is when I'll like yeah. bust out that talent. Nice. Otherwise I keep it kind of secret. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I like it. <laughs> Uh, all right, and what the final question, mm -hmm. what do you hope your legacy will be that you leave behind as a teacher? Gosh, that's a hard question. I'm seven years in, so I feel like... You're such a baby. I know, the legacy still has a long way to go. Yeah. Um, I guess I hope, uh, I hope that people just like remember my class as a good time. Uh, even if they didn't particularly enjoy art, I hope that they had like a fun time hanging out with me and hanging out with their friends and that it just
just like felt like a, a warm, welcoming space. Well, I think yeah. that you definitely have accomplished that already because yes. from my kids, mm -hmm. that's what I hear. Oh, good. And when I asked, you know, which teacher I should interview, you, boom, just oh. not even a question. Oh, well, that's so nice to hear. And they asked me to ask you, how did you become so funny? Oh, how did I become so funny? Uh, I don't know. It's a crazy job. Like, I don't think many people uh, no. spend the whole day with, like, hundreds of teenagers. Yeah. Um, but that's, you got to have a sense of humor. Yeah. You know, it's a key piece of the job. It makes, yeah. you know, the job more fun, though. Awesome. Yeah, for sure. I, <laughs> I can't imagine. Yes. Yeah. Every day is different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. Yeah. And being such a rock star. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, you're welcome. I loved, loved chatting with you. Right on. Cool. Yay. <laughs>